The Tribeca Festival is underway. One of the most anticipated films about the life of Knicks legend and former New Jersey Senator Bill Bradley premieres this Friday. CBS New York's Dick Brennan got a chance to speak with him about the project. Rolling along traces Bill Bradley's life story from a small town in Missouri to his career with the Knicks and then to the halls of the United States Senate. Senator Bradley joins me now to discuss this autobiographical film. Senator, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. My pleasure, Dick. Always good to be with you. Uh, you've achieved a few things in your life, one or two things. Uh, for those of us who know, uh, Olympic gold medalist, two-time NBA champion, United States senator, you even ran for president, uh, to name a few. But now this is screenwriter. How did this happen? Um, I gave my political papers to Princeton, and uh, they did an oral history project. They interviewed 70 people who had worked with me in politics and uh, the Senate. I did a reception for them and stood up and told stories about all of them. And one of the many Eisenberg had produced in 72 plays on Broadway. And he came <laughs> up to me afterwards. He said, this reminds me of Mark Twain, Hal Holbrook's Mark Twain. You ought to work this up. So the result is Rolling along. Rolling along. I, I want to play a clip from here. Uh, they, we received a clip from the film that relates back to your time in the Senate during a tumultuous era in American history, although it seems like we just keep re reliving it. The beating of Rodney King. Um, let's take a look at this right now. So when a verdict came down not guilty, the country erupted. And I went to the Senate floor to vent my own anger and let anybody know who was watching that somebody understood the injustice. So I was speaking and I spontaneously picked up a pen from my desk and I paused. And without saying a word, I hit the podium 56 times in 81 seconds. called King a bear, a bull, a gorilla, the worst of the dehumanizing descriptions of black Americans that have fueled hatred, discrimination, and fear throughout our history. I'd wanted that speech to make a difference, but it didn't. These things still happen. Things still happen. It is extraordinary. We went from there, and then we have uh, George Floyd just a couple of years ago, and so many incidents in between. You've been writing about this. Uh, you lived at the intersection of race and sport. What has happened in this country, or what has not happened in this country? Well, I think we've made a lot of progress in the country. Uh, remember, when I uh, began talking about and experiencing this, uh, we had segregated restaurants, voting was not available for African Americans. Things have made big changes, but you know, the human heart's still the human heart, and we have to begin to, people understand if we're gonna live up to our ideals as Americans, then we have to make more progress in this area. And, you know, so many people thought that when Barack Obama was elected, that this may have been the beginning of a turning point in this country. Uh, years later now, I think we see that it, we've actually gone, it feels like that we've gone backwards. What do you think is at the heart of that? I don't think we've gone backwards, but we do slip back. What I hope this film does is in a way it's, uh, I try to be as honest as I can because I think the first step toward healing is being honest. And our country needs to heal and bring the extremes to the center. I have to, I can't let you get away without asking you a basketball question. I'm not gonna ask you to come in the Knicks. I know you were at the playoff game. We saw you on the 50th anniversary of what, in my life, the greatest moment of my, sports moment in my life. Uh, we lost Willis Reed this year. Of course, Dave DeBusher is gone. Um, I have a question for you, because I watched you play as a young kid, right? You would shoot from the corner. Sure you were born? I, I swear, I, I was very little, but I remember. I don't remember 69, I do remember 72, 73. Okay. But you, Jerry Lucas was throwing up bombs. He probably could hit threes right now, okay? You were shooting from a corner, a very far shot. Do you ever sit back and look at that great team, I think six Hall of Famers, and say, hey, these guys guys could do the whole three-point game that they're playing today? Uh, sure, but we didn't have the three-point. Right, right. It's a different game. We believe that the maximum movement was for the purpose of getting the easiest shot closest to the basket, not driving, getting hang hanged, and throwing it to 30 feet. And um, 
You know, I, I think of Jerry Lucas. And he, Djokovic reminds me of Lucas, the way he passes. Oh, that's good. That's so, good. So, you know, the point is that uh, the game is still the same, even though the rules have changed. It rewards uh, selflessness. It rewards discipline. It rewards imagination. It was, and it was great to see the whole bunch there. I know Willis was on tape that night, but that also had to be a tough time for you, losing Willis, right? It was a tough time. Clyde and Earl's wife and the DeBusher kids and George Kalinske and I all went down to the funeral in Louisiana. It was a sad moment, but it was a moment to remember what a great American and what a great teammate he was and how he he brought dignity to all of us by his strength and by his commitment. Senator Bradley, keep doing what you're doing because you've always done it brilliantly. You've always done it well, and we really appreciate you coming in to talk to us. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be with you, Dick, and always great to hear you. Okay, great. Uh, Rolling Along will premiere, as Senator said, at the Tribeca Film Festival. More information about the 2023 festival, go to our website, cbsnewyork.com.